Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Shoe Snob unboxing video. Unboxing videos. One take wonders. Here we are back again with something new, uh, but also not new, i.e. I've shown the brand many times, but it's a new idea that they've brought and a new series of shoes. So, and this time I have two to show you. Uh, here we go with things expanding and diversifying. All right. Heron has, oh, sorry, the brand is Heron. The very famous English retailer uh, known for their customer service, incredible prices, huge collection of shoes. Uh, really one of the original and long-standing uh, resellers of shoes, online shoes that is around the world. So yeah, they were among the first. 1966, I imagine it started with a small store and it grew into a huge online empire. So let's take a look at their new offerings. As the world has somewhat become more casual because of, uh, you know, certain things that have been going on, a lot of makers have uh, taken advantage of that idea by making sneakers and offering more and more sneakers and or fused dress shoes with sneaker-like soles. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at some sneakers. Now, the uh, brand is actually w called Norman Walsh. Um, so Norman Walsh makes these sneakers and it comes with a little pamphlet. I haven't shown you them yet, but I just wanna show you what's inside first. A pamphlet of the different models that Norman Walsh has created a brief let me see if that's an explanation yes it is an explanation uh, of the history of mr. Walsh and his brand which dates back quite a while so I just trying to find the exact um, 1961 so long time uh, brand and funny enough, I had never heard of it until now. So great on Heron for sticking with English heritage and craftsmanship and bringing that to a grander uh, audience. So let's take a look. We've got two pairs here. All right, sorry, give me a moment while I pull them out. All right. So two pairs, two colorways, and two sizes. So I can help explain a little bit about everything. Get ready to be wowed. Yellow. My first pair, uh, no, I'm lying. My second pair of yellow shoes. You'll probably laugh because my first pair were a pair of banana yellow Prada loafers. <laughs> I laugh just thinking about it that I used to wear when I worked at Nordstrom and I was buying all those designer shoes and I was a different person back then. So, uh, but I got rid of those years ago and this is my second pair of yellow shoes. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. I like these, these are cool. All right, so let's get rid of the bags, get rid of everything. So we just focus on the shoes. Here we are, Norman Walsh trainers. So typically speaking, I am a UK six and a half, but in like most sneaker lines, there are no half sizes. So I was sent a UK six and a UK seven. Uh, let's jump right into the fit. So I tried the UK seven first. Um, I felt it was roomy. So these are labeled as F. And for me, that is an F. Um, they were quite broad in the forefoot but then again i'm judging as somebody that wears my trainers with either dress socks or no socks if i was to wear a thick pair of athletic socks they probably would have fit just fine but because i don't wear athletic socks um and the ones that i do have are nearly as thin as dress socks so in reality i don't have that type of athletic fit i have always a dress shoe fit um, they were on the, the more roomy side for me, which is fine because I can wear these in the cooler months with thicker socks. I'm not going to say I don't have athletic socks. I just don't really wear them for those purposes. 
I wear them in the house to keep my feet warm. Uh, as sad as that sounds. But uh, anyway, UK7 was a generous fit. So if you're a UK7 with a broad foot, boom, you're going to be great for those UK7. Sorry. And that translates to a US8. All right, so the UK6, naturally my toes were bang up against the front there, but uh, the but the width was great. They were a nice tight fit, which is what I really like. On top of that, they come with a removable insert. So most likely what I will do is get rid of this and put a thinner one. I think the UK6 is actually going to fit me just great the way I like it because I like shoes to be on the more tight side. All right, so now that we got fit out of the way, um, personally, if you're a half size and you like a tight fit, size down. If you like a loose fit and you wear thick socks, size up. Um, all right, when I tried the shoes on, phew, they were super comfortable and they also are extremely lightweight. I believe they wrote on the side that a UK8 is 561 uh, milli uh, milligrams. That can't be right. Grams. Must be grams. I don't even know what grams. I, I know ounces. So uh, all I can tell you is they are very light. They're not heavy at all. Um, so, you know, you got a, a cemented foam sole here, which is very light. This has the kind of look of the typical... British style shoe. When I say that, obviously, you know, uh, Reebok comes from England and Reebok is the most famous brand there. It's everybody who, who loves sneakers in England is a fan of Reebok. And obviously they created a certain look, a certain idea, and others have, you know, gone with that inspiration in their design, obviously changing how it looks on the upper. But yeah, it's got that classic Reebok style look, which I love. I have two pairs of the all. Th Sorry, you're gonna you're gonna think I'm crazy. I have three pairs of the classic all white Reeboks, uh, and I have a gray pair and a burgundy pair, and I want to say I have a black pair, but I think I think I don't. Never mind. Anyway, hence why I was you know attracted to the style because I like the overall look of it you know that silhouette that classic foam sole the little turn up there on the toe to protect from uh when you bounce off the toe on the pavement uh sizable heel you got a lot of cushion there it's a nice little detail on the back heel it says walsh in leather and you got the norman walsh for herring on the tongue um this is their navy model Again, shoes are very lightweight, very comfortable. Let's get a closer look at that yellow. Now, I'm looking at the yellow in my camera, my front camera, and it looks way brighter than I think it is in reality. So, uh, I'm, it's not as bright per se as that leather. It's more, it's more subtle. It's almost, it, it, I think in the camera it looks like banana, but in reality it looks like mustard. Um, which which is easier to wear in my opinion because it's not so bright in your face it's it's obviously yellow but it's more subtle so um got the nice little british flag on the side for all of the very proud uh uh people in the uk uh yeah new collection they've actually since they've sent me these they've expanded the collection with more with some really cool one thing that Heron has always done really well that I've always loved about them is incorporate tweed into their shoes. And they just got a new black suede with like a dark gray tweed. It's very nice. Uh, I prefer it to both of these, but hey ho, you know I like uh, I like that I I like that I got a new color that I that I don't have, and I'll definitely be looking to uh, attempt to incorporate that into my somewhat conservative look uh, as I'm wearing a two tone kind of gingham check shirt I say conservative but anyway um, quickly the price is uh, again I'm pretty sure with Brexit this now might be the price for everybody outside the UK don't call me on that because I'm not in you know so great with uh, international laws but uh, the price currently is around $185 per pair or 130 pounds again 
I believe that is without a VAT pricing. Uh, if you're in the UK, it might be 20% more than that. Uh, still a great deal compared to you know other sneakers in the marketplace. Uh, again, they were super comfortable, super lightweight. They have a removable insole for those of you that have orthotics and need to insert them. You can take these out. Uh, again, they are on the generous side, so for those of you that do have a heavy orthotic, you will be pleased that there will still be ample space for you to use those. Anyway, I hope you like this, something different, um, you know, in a sea of sneakers that all look like common projects. This is far from a common project, so it's nice to see a little bit of something different. And uh, yeah, Heron's a great company. I always want to support them. Hope you do too. They have great customer service, so if you ever have questions, just give them an email. Hope you continue to enjoy these videos, trying to do more and more, although time is always uh, something that I, I, uh, I battle with. Um, yeah, do stay tuned because I still have a queue of a ton of shoes to get through, uh, and I'm sure I'll be getting sent more and more. It seems like more people want to get on the shoe snow unboxing videos, so let's see. As this continues, if you do enjoy this, please feel free to share, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. And if you haven't already, do check out the Shoe Snob blog. I'm sure most of you, if you're watching this, came from that. But anyways, thought I'd just say it. Uh, yeah, do stay tuned for more. Thank you, as always, for all your support. Have a great day.